right guys, so before we start roofing, we need to make some adjustments. What we came up with is, because this roof line isn't even because of the building, you guys saw that in the last video. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna use this side as the high point, and we're gonna shim out the rest of this to be level again. So that means that it's basically from nothing there to like a four inch piece over there. Or actually it's more, it's more than that. It's more like five and some change inches over there. See the difference right there. So to do that over on this side, we're going to have some pieces that are sticking up quite a bit. And so the way I was able to figure this out is I ran this string line up here, right? And this string line is measured off of points on this roof so that I know that it's square with this roof because this roof is not only out of level, but it's out of square. So I made some measurements from the eaves down there all the way up to here. And that's where this string line goes. So you can see, well, I hope you can see that this string line goes down and the roof goes up and down and stuff. But so we set this string at the same amount of distance away from the ends of that roof so that we know it's square with it. And then after that, I took that string and leveled it out from one end to the other. I used a laser level to make sure that that end is the same as that end. Okay, so then once I did that, I remeasured it to down there because it changed that a little bit. So we kind of had to make some adjustments. And then, so this is the point that we're going to now. You can see that that's gonna be the fascia actually. And so I'll get into that later, but this is our first rafter here. And but then so you can see the roof changes right here too. So we're going to we're going to make it all one plane. So basically the way that I'm doing this is I have a line it's underneath the triflex right now, but I have a line going all the way across here and that's our point that we're going to and then this line is our point that we're going from. So what we're doing is since the measurement from there to there is the same on every one, we know what the measurement is. So what I do, like for instance, this, this rafter here, I set this screw so that it's meeting up and intersecting with this line here and it's not affecting it either. You don't wanna push it because you won't even know you're pushing it. But, so we take this line, we take it down and just pretend like this piece of triplex is off because the line is underneath of it. Put this right to the line Right, and then that's what you want the plane to be at that. Okay, so then we would just do various measurements and calculations and come up with the the shim rafter for this. So what I wanted to do, these this building here is on trusses and on 24 inches on center. So I want to make sure that those shim rafters meet up and are directly on top of the trusses that way they're putting the weight right on the trusses and not like on the plywood so here's like the first real shim rafter and it's actually going to get smaller from here going down so we're going to take this and put it on there and it will match up exactly so here let me show you So that's, that's what that's going to look like. It'll go down on that end once I take that triflex off, but we made it so that it, it's all custom so that it, it fits right in there and it follows that plane and there's the string down there. So it follows that plane all the way down. So that's, like I said, this is the biggest one that we have to do. And then they get smaller and smaller as you go. 
and then down here basically the plywood's going to be resting on on the end here and then like the next one over we'll just have a slight shim underneath of it so that's where we're at right now once we get done with that then we can start roofing in at least this section here once that's done we will start doing the rest of the roof but i want to get this done first because the rest of the roof is fine right now but just so you guys know we're we're taking off the metal roofing and we're going to shingles with things being out of square out of level out of plumb the architectural shingles will hide that so much better than metal roofing because the metal roofing is like perfectly square and straight and plumb and then when you put it on something that's not it really makes it stand out pretty good <laughs> How I measure this is I take this intersection right here, measure it to the tip over here, 32 and 3 quarters, and then I measure up square to this line. And I got 4 and an eighth, so I'm going to call that 4 inches because it's better to shim up than have to bring this thing back down and trim it. Now I've established this angle, this intersection here, and then the only thing left I have to do is just measure the distance up at a square angle to it. So I got an inch and a half, so I'm gonna go with inch and seven sixteenths.
swinging. Looks like you were a little low on that one, boy. Sling and shingles.
So we're ready to reinstall these skylights. Get all the ice and water and underlayment on and then start the roofing. done with this roof now this is much better than it was before and it hides a lot of the imperfections this part is the only part that we didn't shim up and it was it was reasonable that's why I didn't bother so another reason why I actually shimmed it up is because there's no venting in this attic there's no prop vent to keep the insulation away from the plywood you can see that the ridge is offset and that's pretty much because we, we didn't shim out this roof and everything else we did. So if we had shimmed this out, it would have been over so that it was perfectly in line. But a nice little detail on this, and I need to finish this because I had the wrong spray paint. I was trying to paint this gray, but the gray I had was just, it was too like light colored. But anyways, that's just a piece of counter flashing. I'm not relying on that. That just keeps the ice out. And so down here we have a piece of kick flashing. And against the kick flashing, I don't like to put the shingle all the way up to it. I like to leave a little bit for more of a drip edge there. And this kicks the water away from the building and into the gutter. There's gonna be a gutter here and that way it doesn't just seep into the corner like you see so many times on some older houses that they don't put that on. You can retrofit a piece like that afterwards. And I also put uh, a piece underneath of it that was just regular aluminum. That's coil stock. And you don't need to put that. But I put it underneath of this kickout flashing just in case the ice wants to back up. So it's just kind of an extra level of protection and then 
what we'll probably do here is put zip tape over top of this and then it's ready to get sided. And so the next video we're gonna be doing on this is a soffit and fascia and a couple other little details. Um, so, so it'll start looking pretty good pretty soon here.